Where to start? Well, Carrie French is the manager of Made for a Day in Quincy. She says if you want to tackle the task of spring cleaning yourself, it's best to start at the ceiling and work your way down. Knock down the cobwebs, clean the walls, and don't forget the vents when you get to the floor because dust can build up anywhere. It circulates around your house, gets into your food, gets into your lungs. If you have allergy problems, you really need to get it out. Speaking of floors, a good vacuum should do the trick on carpets. Just don't forget the edges. And when it comes to your hardwood floors, the experts at Made for a Day say use a microfiber mop, not a sponge mop, because those can hold bacteria and they're hard to clean. And when it comes to your hardwood, make sure you mop with the grain. A couple of rooms that may not seem fun are the bathroom and kitchen. Carrie French says for the bathroom... Don't forget to wash your walls because once you flush the toilet, everything in your toilet is going to cover everything. She also says don't bother with a toilet brush. Use a toothbrush instead. It's just an easier way to get to where we need to get to get your, your toilet clean. Another toothbrush can come in handy in the kitchen. You'll want to pull out your appliances and get all the dust build up behind them. Also, don't forget about inside your appliances especially your dishwasher, your oven, your refrigerator, inside your washer and your dryer also. One item many people forget about are fake plants, whether they hang on the wall or stand on the floor. French says they can harbor a lot of dust and should be cleaned with a vinegar solution. Chad Douglas, KHQA News, Quincy.